in this tutorial, we're going to be covering how to convert um, a scale variable into a categorical variable. Um, so for example, a variable like age um, is a racial level variable and it goes from zero to positive infinity. People can be pretty much any age. Um, now, depending on the, the survey tool that you are using, you might not be able to ask a question like, what is what age group do you fall in and provide age group responses that would actually, um, when it's time to export the data, they would be pre-coded so you would get actual numerical responses. Um, if you are using a free platform like Google Forms, then if you were to ask an age group question, then you would actually get um, a text response that you would have to go ahead and code to make it um, ready for importing into a PSP, PSPP or SPSS for data analysis. So what I normally recommend is that we, what I normally recommend is that we, instead of asking a question about what age group they fall in, respondents fall in, just go ahead and ask the respondent to enter their age, utilize content validation to make sure that it, it is a number, um, and you can also meet any requirements in terms of um, the age, minimum ages or maximum ages, um, because Google Forms does allow content validation when it comes to the, 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 the numerical responses. So, but once you've done that and you have, have the, 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 the data, one of the challenges that you would face is that when it is time to do advanced data analysis, if you were, were wanted to, for example, compare based on age, um, the age variable in its raw form does not lend itself well to comparison because there are so many response type or response categories. So what most people do is convert the age variable into a variable like age group. So what I'm going to do is actually take you to the process of creating the age group variable. So what I'm going to do first is to just run a frequency distribution on the age variable just so I can see where the ages range from. So analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies, and I'm going to remove all of the statistics because I don't really need them. I just really want to see the variable itself, right? And I'm going to go ahead and run this procedure from my syntax. So this is what the variable looks like. As noted, so many categories. If I were to do comparisons using the, the age variable in its raw format, it just wouldn't make any sense. But looking at this, I see that ages range from 18 to 89. And so what I need to do is to create age groups that separates um, these respondents into age groups. So I want to make three, oh, sorry, four age groups. So I'm going to group them um, in groups from 18 to 34, 35 to 50, 51 to 64, and 65 to 90, um, because I know that the lowest, the highest age was 89. So now I have one, two, three, four age groups. So now that I'm able to specify what my age groups are, I should I will go ahead in the software to actually do the the, the the specification of the data or to create the age group variable. So what I'm going to do is to go to transform compute and I'm going to say that my target variable is called age underscore group. Remember that in naming variables, you are not able to use spaces. The only punctuation mark that you can use is the underscore. So that's why that is there. So I create a numeric expression for the age group. So I'm going to use the number nine, and that is just a space folder. And I'm using a number that um, 
it's outside of the range of all of the normal responses, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm able to actually select the variable label here. So I can put age group of respondents. Continue, right? So go ahead and click paste. So in its in its current form, this variable does not have all of the information that we need. So we're going to have to go ahead and um, specify now the different age groups. So I'm going to create a space right under compute age group and I'm going to utilize if statements, conditional statements to actually um, create those age groups. So I'm going to say if open brackets age is greater than or equal to 18 space and age is less than or equal to 34 close brackets age underscore group is equal to one so that's the first age group so again this is what i did I am using conditional statements to specify which values or which responses to count as group one, which responses to count as group two, three, and four. So I have now specified the first age group. The second age group, I'm able to just go ahead and copy that first one, paste, and modify. But you have to be careful. You have to make sure that you're making modifications at all the steps. So now the second age group would be if age is greater than or equal to 35 and age is less than or equal to 50, then age group is 2. Now for the third age group, age is greater than or equal to 51 and age is less than or equal to 64 then the third age group is 3 then final line if age is greater than or equal to 65 and less than or equal to 90 then the fourth age group is four. So this should yield the result that we're looking for. So go ahead and select the procedure and run the selection. As you can see, it was executed. And I am going to now go to my data file to look for my new variable. And here my new variable age group is created and the labels are also created. Now we have to go ahead and specify our missing values. So go ahead and not missing values, sorry. We have to go ahead and specify our value labels based on how we had um, separated the groups. So I'm going to have to say one is 18 to 34 add 2 is 35 to 50 add 3 is 36 to sorry what am i saying 51 to 64 add and 4 is equal to 65 to 90 add and again go okay so i'm going to look at this and um run a frequency distribution to see if there's anything else that i need to do to this variable 
So I'm going to go to analyze description statistics, frequencies, and I want now age underscore group. So I'm going to put the age back and I'm going to paste it. And run it from my syntax. So as you can see, the total matches the total of the previous of the age variables so of 4370, 4370. But as we can see here, the missing values were not specified. So we still need to clean this variable and specify these 16 responses as NA. All right. So let's go ahead and make that one small change. So go to missing values. And I'm going to say discrete missing values. And that is 9. So OK. And I can rerun the frequency distribution just to make sure that everything is now OK. And it is, see here now, that 9 is now missing. Right? We could have added the variable label NA here so that you could see that that um, a 9 is actually an A, right? So this is how you would transform the variable age into a new variable age group.